And this is me just speaking fairly loud. Let's switch it up. And again, uh, this is just me speaking pretty much as before. So that's the difference. No effects going. Now let's just listen to the noise level, to the noise floor. And now from this distance, it should actually sound super nice. But then again, the onboard microphone sounds really, really good as well. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topics for this vlog are, first of all, I will show you my new vlogging gear. And secondly, I will compare the Rode Video Micro to my smartphone microphone. This is a Samsung Galaxy 4. Let's see which one is better. So let's get it. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. So here we go again, back down in the studio for two reasons, essentially. First of all, well, it is such a clean and nice looking room. It's literally perfect for filming videos. Well duh. And secondly, this is a rather noisy room, which will be perfect for microphone comparison. Comparison. What? <laughs> and this was, well, the first clip that I used with one thread, which is down here. And this power bank is utterly useless because this is the same power bank that I fried back then when I uh, powered the Illuminati video light triangle video light so it's not working but the reason why it's on here is for stabilization and that's the thing right here and it's just way smoother with a bit of a weight down here so that's my gear right here fairly basic after that i came up with this thing not too long ago with two threads one up here and one down here and the idea for that was obviously to mount a microphone on top of my phone well on top of this clip i did design this before receiving the microphone so this is trash and then I came up with uh, this thing and I'm fairly proud of it because I think it's looking really nice. It turned out fairly good and yeah, I think my designs are actually getting better. Well, I'm getting better at designing stuff, so hell yeah. The thread down here, all in all, is just looking so much more refined and on top we have this slot right here. This is fairly similar to a hot shoe and this will fit this microphone thingy, adapter, whatever you call it, perfectly. It slides in just like that and you can screw this down, fix it in place and there it is. I also got this huge clamp as a gift but I think this is a bit too big. I mean just look at it. This is ridiculous. And that's the thing with my phone in there. Let's go. The cool thing about this clip is obviously that you can mount it on so many things. Oh my god, I'm not even sure how to hold this any longer but yeah, it's getting Fairly heavy. It's a heavy setup right there. And it's also <laughs> looking kind of ridiculous. Mm, I don't know about that. I will probably just go back to this power bank thingy for now. I don't know. I think this thing is actually fairly stable now. Okay, here we go with the other one again. This one is just so much more versatile because you can twist and turn this thing. Okay, that was a fail right there, but just like that. And there are so many hinges and stuff that you can use to alter the position. Yeah, I will probably use this one again. It's just too bad that this thing is already freaking broken. Check this out right here. It's dead. This thing broke. It's trash. But like the concept is awesome. But enough said, what you heard until now was the onboard microphone of this smartphone. Again, this is a Samsung Galaxy Note 4. And this is me just speaking fairly loud. Let's switch it up. And again, uh, this is just me speaking pretty much as before. So that's the difference. No effects going. Now let's just listen to the noise level, to the noise floor. Let's switch it up again. Yup. I do post-process all my audio because what you heard up until the microphone comparison was obviously massively altered. <laughs> I have a compressor going, I have an EQ going, I have noise reduction going, and I obviously have another mastering chain to reduce a bit of dynamic, normalize the peaks and stuff like that, you know, make everything 
loud basically. So let's try that, let's get them effects going. So that's just me again, speaking rather loudly with effects this time. Let's switch it up. And again, it's me speaking rather loudly with effects going on. And now let's check the noise floor again with noise reduction in place. Let's go. Noise floor. And when I add the music, it shouldn't be too bad. But still, it's surprising how freaking good the smartphone microphones are. It is insane. The only bad thing, well, the only thing that you could consider as bad is that this microphone is a sphere. It has a sphere characteristic, whereas the video micro has a cardioid, cardioid, jeez, cardioid characteristic. A sphere picks up noise from every direction, whereas a cardioid mainly picks up the noise from the front. So let's try something else. Let's get this ventilation going. And this should be something where the video micro shines and this onboard microphone doesn't. The ventilation is up here. And now I will hold this microphone. Like the ventilation is right behind me and now it should be fairly loud. You should be able to hear the ventilation. And that's one of the drawbacks that this onboard microphone gives me. As far as I'm concerned, it's the only drawback. There is a weird compression going on sometimes when I do something really loud, for example when I clap, and it takes quite a while until the signal gets louder again. But anyways, let's switch it up. Ventilation up here. Oh well, there it is actually. So you should be able to hear this thing. And now you should hear me way more clearly than before, than with the other one. It obviously sounds different, but I'm more in focus and this thing is pretty much dead, so to say. I don't know. Like, it's way quieter. And that's awesome. Now you should be able to hear me and the ventilation. And now you shouldn't hear the ventilation at all. Just a tiny bit, I guess. So I will use this microphone for loud, noisy environments. Maybe, maybe it sounds so freaking good with effects on it that I will use it all the time. But again, just look at it, kind of huge. Well, let me turn on this thing again. And also, when I speak like that, I actually would need to turn it around. So if I want to film something, like right there, I need to turn it around. But actually that wasn't too bad. It was a fairly quick change. And now from this distance, it should actually sound super nice. But then again, the onboard microphone sounds really, really good as well. Was it worth it? Well, I guess it will surely come handy when I need it for loud environments, stuff like that. It also looks more professional. <laughs> <laughs> so that's something, I guess. And yeah, it's fairly cheap, so I guess for this price point. It's my first external microphone, so that's pretty cool. So this cost me, I think, around 45 bucks, if I'm correct, without taxes. And I also had to purchase this TRRS adapter thingy. This was like 13 bucks, rather expensive, but yeah, whatever. Tip ring ring sleeve, because this thing is only tip ring sleeve TRS. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, this microphone doesn't work at well. Sad thing is when I connect it to my Sony a77, it actually doesn't work, but I don't know why. Maybe the camera plug is kind of dead. I don't know. That's pretty sad. So I tried it with my Sony, but it didn't work. So stupid actually, because I bought this for the Sony because I wanted to start vlogging with my massive DSLR, but it didn't work. Classic, but well, it's another option for my vlogging gear, upgraded vlogging gear. I just, this thing is looking so nice, I love it. So yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash at that like button the way my expectations got smashed once again. But well, it's still so tidy and fluffy and cute. Okay, anyways, bang that bell like crap, pop, never miss gear updates. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.